Hey there everybody, Tender Toe here. I wanted to talk about my DIY gravity filter uh, and the design of it and how you can make your own. Um, in my opinion this is a pretty simple uh, method. Um, granted if you use an inline water filter uh, that's extremely simple. All you would need is two reservoirs and some tubing and you just connect the inline filter. Uh, however this was um, a device that I came up with the design for that used um, a pump filter. This is the uh, Katadin Hiker Pro filter uh, and I, I can use it either in the gravity filter or I can exchange it out and use it in my uh, my pump filter as well. So that's why I kinda like this design uh, and I already had this filter on hand so that also took out the cost of me having to purchase a separate water filter element. You can use any water filter that has sort of a side filtration like this where it filters from the side and has uh, the output on the bottom um, you can use any filter like that. Uh, that's really the, the main piece that you're going to need for this. I'm going to go over the remaining items that you're going to need. Um, sort of the bare minimum to make this and then uh, I had two other items that I uh, purchased that helped make this uh, a bit easier to use in my opinion. Uh, so you need your water filter, you, the filter element itself. You need a quick release um, or quick connect rather. This is a Camelback one. I did not use this specific model I used a uh, an MSR version, but same idea. Basically, uh, it's just a, a quick connect um, valve that you have to uh, you have an, an out and an in, um, and you connect them together like so. So you're going to need one of those, bare minimum. Uh, you're going to need a dry bag. This is a Sea to Summit uh, dry stuff sack, uh, waterproof stuff sack. Uh, this is an eight liter version. Uh, so you're going to need one of those. <clears throat> you're going to need some cordage for the uh, the top of this because this is what you're going to actually end up hanging on the, the tree limb or, or something like that. You're going to need some tubing of some kind. And you're going to need some um, aquarium safe silicone adhesive. If you go to your home store, you'll go to the adhesive section. You'll see there's a couple of brands that make it. Uh, it's got a big fish on the side. Um, it says Aquarium Safe on it. The reason why I uh, it's really a plug for the Aquarium Safe is that it's safe for living organisms. So you're going to be drinking water out of this. So you're going to want uh, something that's been approved that that organisms can be around it. Um, you know, because you're you're drinking out of it and you're a living organism. So at any rate, uh, some folks um, you know don't think that's that big of a deal for me. I figure uh, you know it was four dollars for the tube of Aquarium Safe or. Um, you know, three dollars for the tube of non-aquarium safe. I figured for the extra buck, it's worth the, the peace of mind, in my opinion. And that's the bare minimum that you need. Those are the items you need: filter element, quick connect, uh, dry bag, some cordage, and some tubing, and some aquarium safe silicone caulk. Those are the items you need, bare minimum. Um, I added two additional pieces uh, that make things a bit easier. I have a uh, this is a shutoff valve. Um, you can get these. I picked it up uh, from Paul at, at Arrowhead, uh, Arrowhead Equipment. Um, and it's just basically you can cinch it down on there and it prevents you know water from, uh, from you overfilling uh, uh, your water bottle or what have you. Um, you can get these also. I know that sometimes they have them on uh, drink containers. You get, uh, say, if you go for a hospital stay for some reason, I know that uh, they have them sometimes on the bottles you can get. Um, you know the big mugs you get from those. Um, that's another place you can you can look. But this was you know a, a buck, a couple bucks, uh, maybe maybe less. I'm not sure. I picked it up forever ago. And then an additional um, quick connect. Uh, and the reason for this is this I have the um, the female end on my water bladder or on my water bottle so that I can clip it directly into that and I can walk away from this and it's going to fill my bottle without the um, you know the probability for this to, to pop out and, and start wasting my water on the ground. It's just an extra bit of reassurance for me. You click your water bottle into it or your water bladder um, and it, you're guaranteed that it's going to be filling um, your water bottle and not popping out. But once again you don't need it. You can just have the raw end of the um, of the tube here and it'll you know you can just shove it right into your your water bladder or your water bottle and it'll fill just the same. So those are two additional pieces. Uh, let me walk you through real quick the process for doing this. Um, all you have to do is you cut a small hole at the very bottom center of the uh, stuff sack. And then what you do is you take the quick connect 
and I did it actually with the female end on the inside and the male end on the outside and all you do is so now you've got a small hole in the bottom of the dry bag all you do is click these together and that's it they're now connected and imagine now you've got the um, <clears throat> you know the actual bag is going to be trapped in between here and then all you do is so once again you got a small hole in the center of the bag you clip these through trapping the bag in between the the two connection pieces and then all you do is squirt some uh, some of that silicone caulking or silicone adhesive aquarium safe silicone adhesive on there uh, to kind of just seal up any um, any areas where water can get out um, and that's it that's all you need to do this is ready to go if you take a look on the inside <clears throat> Um, you do need, I'm sorry, the one additional piece you do need to do is squirt caulk on the inside as well. I also uh, added some around the bottom seam. Uh, it was leaking a bit uh, with the pressure from the water being suspended, the weight of the water itself. Uh, it didn't affect um, water safety or anything like that because if it's leaking out of the bottom seam, that's not going to impact the water that comes into this tube, which is what you're going to be drinking out of. Um, but it was just a little annoying to have water dripping out of this bottom seam here. Um, so that's why I did that. So that's it. You squirt some uh, squirt some caulk on the outside, squirt some caulk on the inside. Once again, it's not um, you know very cosmetically uh, appealing. It's not very pretty, but it definitely gets the job done. Uh, and I just added an additional small piece of tubing here that you now just <clears throat> click onto your water filter, and now you fill this up with water, and you hang it up and it's going to filter your water just that way. Any water that's coming through this tube is going to be clean. It's going to be, um, you know, it's going to have to have had to have passed through the um, the filter element, so it's going to be safe and clean to drink, uh, as safe and clean to drink that your, your water filter, um, you know, filters out. But that's it. That's about as simple as it gets. You uh, fill this up at your at your water source. You hang it up on a tree limb or, or from any high, um, you know, rock or wherever you're located and it's going to filter right down into your water bottle. So that's it. project took from start to finish maybe 10-15 minutes to, to complete. Um, so I'm going to post the hammock forums link where this thread is going to be available because I'm posting it there as well. So feel free to comment either here on the YouTube video or on the, uh, on the hammock forums thread and, uh, and keep track of things there. If you have any questions feel free to, uh, to get a hold of me that way and I'll uh, try to answer them to the best of my ability. Good luck uh, if you do decide on making this, um, and thanks again for watching.